right, so here behind me is engine one, housed at Fire Station One here in Cuyahoga Falls. This is one of our primary engines that will respond to 911 calls for fires, rescues, pretty much anything you call 911 for. This is one of the trucks that you could possibly get. And uh, it's important that we have everything that we could potentially need on these trucks. So we make sure that we keep it well stocked and with the right equipment. Uh, you'll see as we go through the different kind of equipment that we have on this truck. Right here, what you can see is we have a bunch of different hoses. That's how we put our fires out. So we have to have different sizes uh, because sometimes fires are small, sometimes fires are big. The bigger the fire, the bigger the hoses we use. Um, and then we even have these even bigger hoses, like this one right here, which there's even more on the back side. We call this our large diameter hose or our supply hose. And you see fire hydrants, well, that's what we hook to a fire hydrant to give us water for the fires. We bring the, fire, the water from the fire hydrants into the engine, and then this is a pump right here, and the pump pushes the water through these hoses so we can spray out the fire. This engine's equipped with a nice big pump that you can see up here. There's a bunch of different levers. Those levers up there are what help us to control water flow whether it's coming to the engine or going away from the engine and going to the fire. So before, like I said, we go on any kind of 911 call with this truck. So that means, like I said, it has to be equipped with uh, anything or tools that we need to handle any kind of emergency. Right here in this cabinet we have our extrication tools that we use on car accidents or rescue type scenarios. Uh, this tool is one of the big name tools that everybody knows. It's the jaws of life you might have heard of and it's really helpful for us to help open up doors for people that are trapped or uh, crushed in cars. Uh, they are very powerful and they kind of look like big scissors, these are both right here. I'll show you just real quick, because these are electric, I can just pick it up, turn the button on right there, and all of a sudden, I'm able to operate this tool, opening it up and closing it. And when I put this in between a car door, it spreads that car door wide open, so that way we can get in there and help the patients. So when we go on these 911 or emergency calls, not only do we want to make sure you guys are protected who are calling us, but we want to make sure we stay protected. And when we go on fire calls, we use our own, what we call protective equipment, or PPE, uh, to make sure that we stay safe. Right here, I've got a set of what we call turnout gear that we dress in to help protect us from heat, smoke, fire, uh, anything that could damage us or hurt us in the event of a fire. So we make sure, just like regular clothes, but thicker. We put our pants on, we put our jacket on, we've got a helmet to protect our heads, and then we even have a hood that goes on just like kind of like a hat to protect our neck and our ears so that everything is that could be exposed is going to be covered. And we also wear gloves to make sure that our hands don't get burned. Now, the one thing that isn't right here to think of when we're in a fire that could, uh, that could possibly harm us is the smoke. Well, we do have something to help us stay safe from that, and that is our breathing apparatus, our self-contained breathing apparatus, or our air tank, to say in a easier term. Uh, we use a mask that covers our whole face, and then I'll put a regulator to it, which helps supply us with fresh air to breathe. Those packs are situated right here in our engines. They are mounted into our seats, so that way we go to the fire, we can get in them, prior to getting on scene and get ready to go. I'll take it out right here and show you. It's just like a backpack. It's got two straps, just like a backpack, that go over you and you cinch it up nice and tight. And then just like a seatbelt, it's got a buckle to secure your waist. Like I was telling you before, there's a regulator. This is the regulator that attaches to the face piece or the mask that supplies the air in this tank for our mask so we can breathe appropriately. Uh, it's very important that we have this on so that way we can effectively go in, breathe clean air, and maybe search for victims or put out fires. 